Well, you just saw Josh Mundell in that ad for Neighbor Ing, and here he is today with us. Welcome, sir. Yeah, thank you Josh, very much. Great to have you here today. Thank you, thank you. And I love the service you started. First, um, let's talk about the name. Okay. Because I, I admit I asked uh, Josh earlier today, I go, do I pronounce it neighbor ing? <laughs> Is it neighboring? So tell us about that, how you came across the name and how this company started. So the, the name really neighboring is, I like to use it as a verb, just helping those around you, the act of helping those around you. And so the way I came up with this idea was I was working as a valet at the Irvine Marriott. I was oh, running okay. for cars in the rain, um, and I thought to myself, this is not what I want to be doing. Yeah. And so my parents are both entrepreneurs. They run their own business, and I see the troubles and kind of the hardships that they had running their business, starting a family, um, and trying to do everything at once. Right, yeah. And so I took that thought and I said, well, life just gets hard sometimes. So people just need an extra helping hand. Mm -hmm. um, so I took the idea of a valet, someone running for your car because you don't want to do it or you can't do it, um, and applied it to everyday chores. So neighboring is kind of the valet or like the Uber for chores. Um, and that's kind of where it started and then it blossomed into this idea of just helping everyone. That's really cool. Yes, thank you. So tell me about how you got the people to do the work. How, how does that process work? Mm -hmm. I understand that they're college students, right? Correct. And so all the, all the people servicing our homeowners right now are background check college students. Mm -hmm. We do an interview process and then we do a background check on them. Um, and we work with the local universities here. There's 13 in Orange County. And primarily our student base is Concordia students right now. But okay. we, we actually did a survey and 95% of students would want to use the service to make some extra money. Because when you tell a student, hey, do you want to make 15 or $20 helping people in mm -hmm. your community when you want, when your schedule allows, um, it's it's a win-win situation both ways. So, yeah, I yes. think it is. So let's talk about the kinds of things that you folks do. And mm -hmm. I, I think we should also say maybe what you don't do Got as it. well. I think that's very important. Yes, yes. And so let's talk about first what you do. What we do do is anything non-professional. Okay. So we do cleaning, organizing, moving items, if you wanted IT help, if you wanted yard work, gardening, whatever it might be we can do mm -hmm. things on your to-do list or your chore list or that you kind of would have like a grandson help you with. Okay. Yes. So when obviously then what you don't do, you're not going to do plumbing, electrical, Correct. Correct. That's that kind of thing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Anything that requires a contractor's license, um, plumbing, electricity. And one of the big things is that we also do not do driving. So okay. we can't, we can't do transportation because ah, okay. that's a little bit different industry. Yeah. That's good to know. We've yes. got some pictures we're showing here. Yes. And, um, you know, the first thing I have to ask, I saw this picture here of the yellow house. Yes. And I'm like, where do people have basements here in Orange <laughs> County? I, seriously, I looked at that. Where was that taken? So this was actually in the Chapman area. Oh, um, some of the older homes probably do. Yes, yeah. I looked yeah. at that. I'm going, wow, I wish we had a basement. <laughs> mm -hmm, right. And so, yeah, they, they needed help moving out, actually. Yeah. Um, they just had a lot of stuff. And so it was really helpful just to have two of these guys um, come help do some heavy mm -hmm. lifting and they they got paid for their hard work and the homeowner got her whole house cleaned. That's so nice. It was awesome. Now how long have you been doing this? When did this start? So I've been working on this project for about two years. Okay. I was, I just <clears throat> recently graduated from Concordia University Irvine okay. in May um, and also I'm an MBA student there. So oh, during that whole time, I've been working on this idea and we actually started uh, live doing chores at the beginning of December. Okay. So we're about five months into this right now. Now, although uh, we're still a ways away from the holidays, I yes. would think that you also help maybe set up Christmas trees. Mm -hmm. I know mean, you put up Christmas lights. Um, this community, they might have a little bit on their balcony. Yeah. But people, you know what? <laughs> Putting up a Christmas tree or taking it down or whatever it might be, mm -hmm. That could be really helpful. Uh, you know, again, it's a long time from now. No. Holidays come by quick, don't they? Absolutely. <laughs> but, 
And so some of the things that we do, yes, Christmas lights, people who want to decorate yeah. their house or typically can't. Um, the Christmas lights, the Christmas trees, the things around the house that you might want to do for the holidays. We also do like event help as well. So like if, oh, students, nice. if a homeowner wants to throw an event or have people over, it's really nice just to have someone do be like kind of the waiter or uh, clean up after the party members. Oh, or that's something. really nice. Yes. Like help with the dishes. And exactly. That. Wow. Yes. That's, that's very helpful. So it's kind of it's kind of an all in one, you know, uh, the same idea as hiring the neighbor kid down the street to come help you. Yeah, I yes. think that's really good. Now, uh, your cost is $20 an hour, Correct. which is very inexpensive Yes. for any service. Now, is that per person? Like if you need two people, it would be $40 an hour. Correct. Okay. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's not much at all. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's a great price point and we find... I'm wondering how you make money. Because <laughs> <laughs> so, you got to pay the people too. No, yeah. absolutely. And so it's, it's kind of my heart in this is I just want to help people. Mm -hmm. So the college student, I really understand those needs because I just was a recent grad and college yeah. students are short on money. Yeah. So I guarantee $15 an hour plus any tips to the college student. Wow. So if they can make two hours of work and they get $30 plus, say, $5 in tips, mm -hmm. $35 for two hours of work, that's, that's some awesome money for them. It and is, so yeah. To a homeowner, it's not bad or breaking the bank to get two hours no, of help. No, not at work. all. No. no. And so um, that's where I'm really coming at this is that I just want to help the homeowner get the things that they need done around the house at the price point that they want yeah. when they want and then the college student gets paid for their work. And um, the cool thing is that neighboring allows the homeowner to pick what day and what time they need the help. And then our service finds the students who can help them at that time. Now, how do you find the service or find the students? Because mm -hmm. you have your database right now. Uh, there's not an app, right? Correct. I assume that no, yeah. You're looking towards that one day. I'm we, sure you are. We, we have an app in the making so right now. So people could just go, I need this at this time, and just like an Uber type exactly. thing. Exactly. Yeah. And, and hopefully, you know, be kind of more that on-demand type yeah. of thing yeah. once, we, once we get a little bit bigger. I bet bigger. you'll do it. Yes. <laughs> and so right now we have our website, startneighboring.com, and then yes. we also have our call-in number. Okay. Um, and so the way we find college students right now is we do college fairs. It's usually a lot of referrals, okay. word of mouth. Um, but yes, we see during the summertime, there'll be a lot of students who need some extra money, uh, who might not be able to get that part-time job that they're looking for. Yeah. And so they're really wanting to make an extra couple dollars with neighboring. Okay, uh, getting back to the IT help, mm -hmm. uh, if someone you maybe say, I, I bought a new computer, I wanna set up my mm -hmm. Wi-Fi or something, yeah. obviously you're gonna bring in students that know this. Correct. Uh, and. Uh, figure out if it's a Windows product, an Apple product, whatever it might Correct. be. That's, so that's really helpful to people. That's well worth the money. <laughs> right? yeah. yeah, and so um, my parents, and I get a lot of questions asking, hey, can a college student help me with this? And usually it's IT related or yes. phone related. Yeah. And I tell them, you know, college students spend most of their days on their phone and we, we know technology yeah. pretty oh, yeah. well, you know, inside and out. Um, but one of the cool things about neighboring is that we look at the student's skills. Mm -hmm. For instance, if it's more like they can play the guitar or they play or they're like an art major or mm -hmm. they're in IT or we kind of play to their strengths and the chores yeah. that they want to do. So the connection is really something worthwhile. Yeah. Really cool. Now, the way people pay for it, you accept a credit card, debit card, of course, and you probably have the little square thing or whatever it is on, right. the, on their phones. Mm -hmm. and. Um, so that's the only way except uh, cash for a tip. Uh, so we do the, actually the, the processing system allows for the tip oh, to okay. go through. Okay. And so we just use that for our records, but so we'll process the system or okay. process the All payment right. um, and then the student will get the tip and get their hourly rate. Um, and Very so good. Forth. Yes. All right. Yes, yes. It, you know, I think you're gonna really uh, build this into something big. Hopefully. I think this is great. Know, hopefully. I have yeah. a vision for it, and I, I would really like to, you know, just get into the community. That's so. the main thing, to have that vision. Mm -hmm. Josh, a pleasure meeting you. Hope Thank to you see can. you again. Yes. And, uh, you know, who knows, maybe I'll be using you too for something. Absolutely. <laughs> well, you know who to call. All right. Thank you very much. Hey, um, the uh, website is startneighboring.com. Correct. Right? And the phone number is on the screen, 949-322-4900.
23. And, um, you know, this is really something that I think everyone can use here. And uh, really, it's a bargain. So good luck to you. Thank you very All much. All right, we'll be right back.